Hi, here we are again, getting ready for sale coming up on Sunday the 26th. Hunting has been a bit tough this month because a lot of people are on holidays with their kids and stuff. But we'll start here, we have Asian porcelain. We have a big, big collection of clocks in this sale. Here's a sampling of some of them. We're going to show you more in a minute, but we have a collection of Waterford cut crystal. We have a nice selection of Asian. This is a beautiful Sang de Boeuf vase, has good age, nice size and quality. We have some export porcelain. We have another clock here, Le Coultre Atmos clock. We have some dome glass. This is a very interesting piece. We believe it to be a Lalik hood ornament of a car, of a horse. Nice condition considering what it was used for. This is a piece of dome glass, rare because of the, you know, the scenery that's on it. Moving along, we have some nice KPM style porcelain plaques. We have Royal Dalton. And in the Dalton sort of mode, this is by a guy called Moore. It's uh, flambe, it's a beautiful, beautiful piece. Similar to Moorcroft, he was probably one of the earlier pieces, but that's a very nice piece. We have some bronzes, some antique dolls. As always in the Clark auction, we have a good selection of sterling silver. These are, we have a set of four of these, we, you know, myself being Irish, these are Irish, probably early 19th century little condiment holders. These are Georgian English, nice footed sauce boats. There's some continental silver, this beautifully hand hammered uh, 800 silver with disc sort of shell feet. And this came from the same estate as a very large urn. Good for some people who had a golfing tournament, maybe wanted to put a, make a presentation of it. And we have nice trays. There's a very large collection of Dalton porcelain. We have Colport, Louis Vuitton vintage, Bull Inkwell. We have some more Asian here. These are very nice, four little jade finials. We pulled off lamps, the jade being very hot. The Asian market's piled down a bit, but it's still hot. We're always looking for it. Coming along here with this interesting character. He looks like one of my workers. He's having a little rest there. He's Spanish, 18th century. Great piece. Value-wise, I don't know, but what a nice piece. You can scare the kids with it. Here we have more clocks. We've got onyx clocks, carriage clocks. This is an interesting pair of mahogany knife boxes. Very desirable in the day, they don't use them as much anymore, but they're still, be, as a pair, it's a nice to have on your sideboard. More clocks. Oh, and we have some musical instruments. We have a lot of musical instruments. We have two guitars. This is a Martin guitar, 12 string acoustic. We have a Gibson vintage guitar for our budding musicians in the neighborhood. This is our back room. I'll just give you a quick glimpse at a lot of clocks we have. It's all from the same collector, grandfather clocks, wooden wall clocks, English and American. This is a nice grandfather clock, but nice and you have your, especially a house on the water, it's got a ship moon phase. But these are interesting, they're in the back here, they are bronze and they're commemoration of Queen Victoria's Jubilee and me being from Dublin, we remember Queen Victoria well. We used to have to look at her uh, sculpture in a lot of the parks over in Dublin. We used to sit and smoke our cigarettes and drink our Guinness underneath them and talk to her. Anyway, in this, this is the main room now. As usual, as you can see, a big scope around. We have a large variety of stuff. We have mid-century to ancient. We have mid-century mirror here. We have a big selection of art this time. Uh, in actual fact, these three paintings here are by an Irish artist called Flack. We're going to sell them as one lot. That's a sort of a market that's tapped down a small bit, the Irish market, and the, like the Greek market and all that. We have these pair of gilt putti. I particularly like this painting, not huge, maybe not huge value, but just nice style. A lot of old people sitting there. This is a mahogany bookcase, probably made by a company called Horner, which is an American company, New York company. Turn of the century, this should do very well. It's nice with the car, hand carving on it. We've got some old masters. This is a nice orientalist oil, a woman with a, a dove there. I think this will do well. The orientalist mark is still good. Following in the vein with more grandfather clocks. As is, can, this is a nice clock here, but it's as is, it was found in a basement, so going to need a lot of work, but what a nice old case on it with the Corinthian columns and all the, the work on it. This dining room set here came from a local Scarsdale home. Beautiful, beautiful table here, all carved on the bottom. Sitting on top of beautiful antique carpet. We have eight carved chairs, usually find six, so it's nice to get eight. And we've got this marble top server that goes with it. It's as is, and the mirror. 
We will sell this set individually and then we'll group it together and sell it as one lot. It's called a round robin. Maximize the price on it. With this big pair of Sev's urns. Now here we have a good looking girl. It's actually a self-portrait of a, an artist, I believe, Hungarian artist called Maria Santo. Self-portrait. I'd like to know her when she was out there modeling. We also have this one is by Pal Fried. Came from the same estate. He's quite prolific. You see quite a bit of his work about him. That's quite nice. You could do with a bit of cleaning, but nice painting. Uh, we've got our usual, some chandeliers. More old master style paintings. As I'd said, we have a lot of musical instruments. We have three pianos. This one here is a Steinway. Nice Steinway Model B. Always sold in as is. This came from a, a church locally. So, it has, you know, it needs needs repair, but it is a Steinway, so it's the Rolls Royce of the pianos. We have an immigrant's trunk. Maybe I'll use this if I ever head back again as I put it to real use. We have some Yugoslav paintings here from the Albine School, I believe. I sort of I quite like the Yugoslav art. It reminds me a lot of the stuff that was done in Northern Ireland that became popular. Sort of primitive, but nice in its own way. It's a big Japanese porcelain vase. Nice just because of its size and quality. Sitting on top of this beautiful burl walnut desk. Beautiful uh, grain on the burl. And all down here is our mid-century section. We have this inlaid marble table. We have a Carl Springer cloth veneered a chest there. This is a Parzinger headboard, decorative mirrors, lucite chairs. We have possibly a Paul Evans Burl walnut coffee table. Here's for the, the young collectors. Here's the uh, interesting Gibson guitar. We have an old electrical guitar from the 60s. I think there'll be good interest in this. This, this part of the market has become very desirable. Christie's even have a guitar sale now, I believe. We have a nice Chesterfield sofa. We do well with these. Nice size, nice color. I should quickly point on this papier-mâché saint with the sword, probably early 19th century. Not as desirable a subject as it was. I think he's must have been picking his, picking his nose there, his fingers a bit loose. A lot of the art lots that came from an old art gallery in Boston, a lot of them were grouping together in lots. So for the art collector, it's exciting and interesting loads that they can come in and browse through. And we have plenty of group lots. They can go onto the website and see more details. But it's good provenance. Then coming into the lobby today is our walk-in. Where have we lost you there, huh? <laughs> You'll have to get a GPS in here. Anyway, in here in the front lobby, we have a walk-in Wednesday today. So as you can see, our appraisers are giving free appraisals to local people to bring in their stuff. But here we have a John Broadwood piano, beautiful piano. As they say, a bit lighter, you know, one oar in the water. I think it's, missed, it's short a couple of keys to be a wonderful piano. We have a carpet here. We have a magnificent Regency server here with lion's heads and claw feet. We have a beautiful pair underneath all the silver. We have a beautiful pair of Regency brass inlaid flip top game tables. I'll just flick that out of the way for you there. There's another one there. Nice to have them in a pair. This stuff all came in and walk in Wednesday. It will be put into the Smalls room. Over here we've got Neely and Bruce busily inventorying stuff for the sale. We've got a nice Italian secretary and I think that's given you a good general idea, Steve. And uh, we'll see you the next time, and hopefully you'll bring in a lot of clients to us. If not, we won't see you the next time. <laughs> okay.